If you just let them give you 100% sugar when you don't want 100% sugar, you don't get the full point. I got a question for you. How do you get your Asian card in 2019? Because I thought it used to be easier, but the game has changed. And we did a video four and a half years ago about how to get your Asian card. Yep. A niche classic. But the thing was, if you watch that video, basically, you could have been born into that video. Liking things like green tea matcha. Using chopsticks correctly. These are things that if you just grew up in a very Asian family, you would score very high on. But the 2019 version of the Asian card, aka AZN 2.0, requires more proactiveness. You guys, the old Asian card, still valid, still stand by it, but the game has changed. The game has changed. This is like all income. I do think that there is some level of Pan-Asian-ness that is required to fully be like super down for Asian stuff in 2019. So we're gonna come up with a point system and we're gonna have you guys score yourselves and then share your score with us in the comments below at the end of the video. All right, you guys, here we go. How to get your Asian card 2019 2.0 style. Unlike the previous video, we will be counting our own points. Hey, but let's see if the Fung Bros even get 16 out of 60. <gasps> the very first thing up is in 2019 to get your Asian card, you have to have a specific boba order. Boba flavors are advancing, everybody, and you gotta be on top of the trend. We're trending up, boys. We are trending up. You gotta treat your boba order like a Starbucks order now. Yeah, yeah, you know how people sit there, oh, I want half cream, can I get soy milk, and like part foam, or blah, blah, blah. That's what you gotta do at a boba shop. You gotta you pick your type of pearls. Potted plant, do you want sea hey, foam? I hear all Crystal boba. I hear a lot of kids nowadays say that they do not like powdered boba. Nah. Five years ago, powdered boba, still probably the majority of boba shops were doing powdered boba. Listen, five years, 2019, guys, we off powdered boba. Off that. Unless it's matcha powder. Ceremonial matcha powder only. So I think that you have to have a sugar preference, an ice preference, potentially a boba preference. Oh, if you just let them give you 100% sugar when you don't want 100% sugar, you don't get the full point. So point number two, first of all, remember we said, okay, you gotta be able to use chopsticks properly. But did you know that there are even different shapes of chopsticks? You got to have a preference on which chopsticks you like. Chinese chopsticks, generally longer, especially when you're eating hot pot because you got to reach in. A little bit better for sharing food. Yes, Japanese chopsticks definitely are pointier. Precise. More, you know, that's kind of like Japanese culture, like so how precise they are with other things, I guess. And then Korean culture, metal. Heavy metal chopsticks and they eat out of stone bowls. It, it kind of rolls with it. Now, one point if you guys have a preference for chopsticks. Point number three, you are advancing your food taste, you get one point. I definitely think if you went to dim sum back in the day, it was just like, okay, you could just get some shiu mais, some chashu baos, some hakaos maybe, you know, and you were good to go. But now it's like, I do think it's more like on uh, churn fun, like you gotta get the rice rolls. Just like, that's like a, just another level of depth. Hey, if you're getting the chashu so, which is the pastry chashu bao, that's next level, I would say. I got it for Japanese people five years ago. Uh, boutique ramen shops, you know, $15 ramen kind of came into style. But five years later, it's 2019, guys. You got to be on udon. Udon. Filipino food, I do think the exposure is still not maybe quite there. There's not as many shops. Not as many there. I'm not going to say, oh, you haven't had synagogue. But I would say you just got to have had chicken adobo. Jollibee's. We're challenging you guys not to only be advanced with your own culture, but you got to know everybody else's on at least a base level. If you're at the Thai spot, get the raw shrimp salad, get the larb. Isan sausage is crazy. so good, man. That's a good transition point. Point number four, you've got to be down for raw food. Whether that's your Thai raw shrimp or your sashimi or your raw crab from Korea and raw beef from Korea. If you have a raw shrimp papaya lettuce salad, that's when you, that's you Asian. Everything, everything's you Asian AF. But yeah, you got to be down for sushi. You know, there's octopuses, there's fishes, and every culture has it. Point number five, you need to know how to make some form of dumpling or roll or wrap. The vast majority of countries have some sort of dumpling, roll, or wrap in their cuisine. And uh, even in uh, movies, they show people making dumplings. And even in Southeast Asia, they either have some form of a spring roll or a fresh roll. You got jowzas and mandus and gyozas, and you just had to have made one. Just a side note, I think the Vietnamese egg roll is the best one. Okay, point number six is when you're done eating at the meal, how bad do you fight for that check? Because it is an honor sort of 
Asian thing to fight for the check. You get a half point if you just fight for it when you're around the ancients. Which, aka the elders. AKA the elders, your, your parents, parents, grandparents. When I say ancient, I don't view being old in a bad way. Maybe that's, a, that's honestly on a deeper philosophical level. If you do it on your own with your friends, that's when you know you're like, no, if you're if you're like a 26 year old and you're fighting for the check with your other 26 year old friend, you get a point for that. You are maintaining the Asian ways despite being in the West. I've done that. Extra credit. Asians love extra credit. What? You value that one of your friends is either a professional chef or is highly skilled. This is something that we did, especially in New York. Friends with a ton of professional Asian chefs and restaurant owners. We're just racking up the points here. Yes, Boom. that's a point, baby. Now we are moving into the pop culture section. Point number seven to get your 2019 Asian car 2.0 is that you must have thoroughly enjoyed an Asian movie in its original language on your own accord. You, through your own decision, reached out and watched an Asian movie that was not dubbed in English, but could have had subtitles. You get an extra point if it was a country not your own. I've watched a Thai movie before with English sub. Oh, I've watched Thai, Indonesian movies. Okay, let's say it's between your American movie number 15,000 or the best movie ever that's like critically acclaimed from another country that's not yours in Asia. Just switch it up and watch it from, I mean, it's the best movie ever. There's gotta be a curiosity of other Asian cultures and other Asian- Outside of your own, yeah. Point number eight. If you listen to artists from a variety of Asian countries, obviously you have everybody from Yuna, Malaysia, Jay Park from Korea, Su Boy from Vietnam, Chris Wu, Higher Brothers from China, from Japan. She's an oldie but a goodie, Yutada Hikaru. Half point if you know about the unique Asian trap wave. You gotta be interested in what other Asian countries are producing. Point number 10, you follow and generally support all of the Asian athletes. Yes. Any Asian who has been in the Olympics from America and you care about them, you get one point. Maybe this is actually where we get a half point because I realized that I don't necessarily follow the Asians that dominate in Asian sports. I do follow Chloe Kim, Naomi Osaka, and obviously me and you follow Jeremy Lin really, really close. He's having an above average season. Number 11. This is still under the pop culture tier if you are on your Asia meme game. Yep. I think that there's all these different memes coming out of Asia. Anything from uh, Uwu, Finger Hearts, to Karma's a B. You know, the TikTok memes. All the way from uh, Jokowi. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation. The president of Indonesia, him looking like Obama. Point number 11, the final point in the pop culture section. You have to be on the Subtle Asian Traits Facebook group. If you are just hearing about Subtle Asian Traits from us in this video right now, and you're like, what are you guys talking about? I'm sorry you don't get this point. I think that uh, Subtle Asian Traits is really funny because I do think that every Asian person needs at least some sort of passive dose of like insider jokes. Having a large group of people that relates to you and basically laughing at the same thing, that's really powerful. That's making you feel normal. It's not that weird to be Asian because guess what? Hundreds and thousands of millions of people feel the same way. Our last section for the 2019 Asian Car 2.0 is, <laughs> is about physical lifestyle. Point number 12, if you have the means, and the time to go back to Asia and you make that decision to go back to Asia on your own, you get a point for that. You get a quarter point if you just ended up in Asia and you didn't enjoy it. All right, where am I, in Asia? But if you know, you get a full point if you went yourself with your friends that are of the same age. 90% of the people that I know went back to Asia, they came back and were more proud about their culture. Absolutely. They connected with people out there. You see where your parents come from, where your grandparents came from. You experience like food like you never have. You experience the culture, the acceptance. Number 13, you have to know a useful phrase or a few words that are non-curse words in another Asian language, not your own. If you can recite rap lyrics and you can't even recite one phrase of another language, 
That's kind or of a few whack. words. Or even a few words. I, you know, Burmese people love it when you say Jezu Damari to them. Or you say, I, I, I don't know. Jambri Apso to a Cambodian person. And it's nice to show people that, you know, you're a, I value your culture a little bit. Number 14, I do think to get your 2019 Asian card, you gotta be somewhat informed on Asian geopolitics. You gotta be able to have maybe like a one to three minute conversation about what's going on in Asia. It can be your own mother country, it could be another country, but there are plenty of resources out there that are talking about news from all over Asia. I mean, they got some really interesting things going on right now. And for the most part, they got good things going on in Asia. Hey, economically, stability wise, if you only get caught up in the bad stories, shame on you. Shame. And you know, if you only follow the weird, exotic, super freaky deaky stuff and not or the bad stuff, you got to question how you're viewing your own the, that part of the world that we all originally came from. Where are your intentions at? Where is your heart at? Number 15, part of your lifestyle. You use Asian messaging apps. Woo! WeChat, Kakao, Line, of course, those are the big ones. I think you get an extra point if you use the Asian dating apps. <laughs> Our last and final point on the way to getting the Asian card. I hope you guys will be keeping track. I've been keeping track in my mind. If you've ever thought about using an Asian product simply because it's Asian. We'll just give you one point if you truly wrestled with the decision. And then you get an extra point if you went full on through with it and you bought the Asian product knowing that it may or may not be as good or better than the other one. Sometimes, like, for me, I mean, I'll be in, like, a Muji or a Uniqlo and I'm like, maybe I should get my uh, air humidifier here. Final takeaways. I don't want people to watch this video and be like, oh my gosh, being that Asian like sounds really unappealing. I don't want to be a fob. Okay, guys, it's not about that. This is about being all encompassing Asian. Like we said, where's your heart? Where's your intentions at? Being Asian in 2019 is about being proactive about your Asian-ness. How pan-Asian are you? How much do you care about all this stuff? Or really, you don't even have to fully care. How about just be curious? Here's the scale of the 2019 Asian card. If you scored zero to five on this list, you're probably like, yo, why did I watch this? I did not subscribe to Fung Rose for this particular type of content. Shout out to you for making it to the end of this video. Probably are not Asian. Maybe. Probably not. If you scored six to 10, um, that is where I do feel like a lot of Americanized Asians who are not proactive and seeking out other Asian things would fall. They're just as Asian as they were born into the natural inertia of their momentum just carried them. 10 to 14, that is where a lot of proud Asians who are into cool popular culture from Asia would fall into. Yeah, this is stuff that you do follow some accounts, you follow some Asian actors and athletes and celebrities, and you do keep up a little bit with Asia. 14 plus all the way to 16, you know, maybe 18, 20, you know, if you got up, counted up all the bonus points, you probably work at an Asian company and you, your heart is in Asia. Hey, your heart's definitely partially in Asia. That's where you are going, probably taking trips back and forth to Asia on your own accord. What did we score? I'm at about like 14. Okay. But if I actually add in the bonus points, then I might be at 15. Plus the extra points, I think I'm at 15. Let me tell you this. I think you could easily jump from six points to 13 points in one month in one month. It's not something you have to be born into. Even a non-Asian can rank very, very high in this. Is it the fact that we even are struggling and care about this Asian card that we just made? I want the, I want the 16 plus four. All right, guys. Well, I got to go study up on some stuff that I'm lacking on right now. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching How to Get Your Asian Card 2.0 in 2019. I hope that video was fun. Leave in the comments below what you scored and why it was high or why it was low. We're interested to hear. Love to have a discussion. All right, guys, subscribe to our channel, share this video, give it a big thumbs up, and until next time, we out. Peace. How Asian is it that we're mad we didn't ace our own test that we came up with?